Welcome to Fasting 444. I found this Volvo Polestar right at the beginning and engaged in a head-to-head -head with a Nissan Tsuru Level 1. And this should be an easy win if I have a clean run through here. I will head east to the perimeter of the next arena and wait for the arena to shrink. And along the way, I wind up finding a spot near a building that I decide I'm going to hang out here, let my vehicle go opaque on the minimap where I'm not visible. I think twice about staying on the road and I go on the other side of this building here. As someone comes flying by shortly later, I find out that was a good decision. Here they come now. <laughs> I thought there might be a drop right by this building, but there's one over here. So let's go take a look. What do we have? An aerial nomad, level six. So that was worth me sitting there. I went up two levels by just waiting a short period of time. I wouldn't have been able to go up two levels by in engaging in head-to-heads. That amount of time, I find someone shortly later, as you can see, and I have to use caution here. This Audi. Sport Quattro is actually a very quick vehicle, so I need a clean run through here, and so far so good. Just narrowly missing buildings and trees. Mercedes AMG GT4 near level 10 speeds. This is my favorite level 7. So now I am going to do what I did a little earlier and go to the perimeter of the arena and look at some drops along the way. But ultimately, I'm trying to catch someone in a head to head. someone now. I am actually heading the direction a head-to-head -head would lead and they are heading away. So off we go. And this is the moment I realized that the final showdown or final arena, whatever you would like to call it, is going to be a Volcano Mountain and I'll be able to get into some head-to-heads on Vulcan Road. But I need a clean run. This uh, MG Metro that I'm up against is a level higher and it's actually really quick off-road. It accelerates really quick. So I need a clean run. I need to focus on all these trees and try and get through some rocks that are up this way. There's a little gap I find that I've used before. So I'll be able to beat them. I think they wound up going on that line where all those rocks were. So they're stuck. And I'll be able to level up. What do we have? We wind up getting... Lamborghini Murcielago, my favorite level 8, near level 10 speeds. So now I am going to head over here. And I thought about getting into a head-to-head, -head, but they were already heading the direction on Vulcan Road that the finish was a short distance to. So I, I need to use a little caution here and not get caught by someone that is already going forward, but coming back towards me. I'm watching the mini-map intently here because, like I said, I want to make sure that they're coming towards me and not going away. And there's three vehicles over there. I think they're all 
doing the dance on Vulcan Road here and this one that was in front of me winds up coming back so I am going to catch them heading sideways and I'll be able to level up. I engaged in a head-to-head -head, but it didn't take. They started heading away. There was a long slow delay and <laughs> I'll wind up in a level nine here. That was odd, but it, that happens sometimes. The head-to-heads, there's a delay in. I don't know why. Okay, moving again, Group A, near level 10 speeds again. So this is my favorite level 9. I'm going through the favorite list of 7, 8, 9. Now let's do what I just did. Let's go over to the end of Falcon Road and use some caution again. I'll add two links to two of my videos at the end of this. One is Strategy Volcano Road Head-to-Heads, and the other one will be Beating Vulcan on Volcano Mountain Road. That is how this road became known as Vulcan Road. And here's where I like to park. This road is shaped roughly like a leg with a foot. I'm on the toe, and the finish is where the knee would be. Here's two cars coming this direction, and I actually thought that it was two people that were just in head-to-heads. It wound up being two separate head-to-heads they just finished. This one came all the way over here, and then the other one winds up kind of heading the wrong direction. So that's who I wind up catching in this head-to-head. That worked out really well. So now I'm going to go down on this lower road and head west where I am not in a precarious position where someone takes me out in the final moments. And the arena is getting ready to shrink for the final showdown. So I am just going to make my way up and get in position for the final showdown. Arena shrinking! just right up these two rocks and you'll see why <laughs> here this guy thinks he's gonna come over and ram me he winds up running right into the rocks it's kind of funny and that, that's one of the reasons the other is it's a straight shot right down the gap down the side of the mountain you can see in dark green there this is arena 18 the range of time to leave is 13 to 14 seconds I have a hard time getting to exit right exactly at three seconds. So I am, as it hits 14 seconds, going to leave, which would mean I would leave at 13 and a half seconds. I know that sounds crazy to try and get it to a half second, but I'm going to give that a try. Showdown begins in 30 seconds. worked out really well. Okay, it looks like the finish is east of New Lake, so I will go east of Horizon, Mexico. There's a dirt road that crosses a road up here intersection. I want to be on that dirt road. There aren't any rocks along this line. Now I'll cautiously angle to the right. I know there's some rocks that are along this line I have to watch out for. Just narrowly missing that one. And now I just go right to the expressway to the finish. What an easy peasy 
win. Congratulations! You are the Eliminator! Subscribe, please. Just click that link on the bottom right.